Welcome to the second video in this geolocation project with Django. So in the last video, we did this project up to this level in which we can pass in a particular IP address and get some location data about the IP address. So I said in this video, instead of passing in some IP address, what we're going to be doing, we're going to be using the user's IP address by default. So once the user comes to this site, uh, no static IP address is going to be passed. What is going to be passed in here is the IP address of the user. So the user can see his or our location. Let's quickly do that. So what we just need to do first of all is to use Python to get the IP address of the user. And then once we do that, we're just going to pass it in and then get some data here. Let me walk you through the steps. So just like in the last video, let me come to my views of PY. As you can see, we use request and some API from ipapi.com to get the particular data of the location. We're going to be doing the same here. We're going to be using um, an IP, an IP API, not this particular one, another one to get the user's current IP address. So let me quickly show you the API which we're going to be using. It's called ipfi.org. So this is the API in which we're going to be using. So let me quickly come here and show you how to use it. It's easy, just like this one. So we have to do it before. So let me say um, something like IP should be equals to request dot get and then let it get this particular one. So this what is going to return is our IP address, the current user's IP address. So now that we, okay, see that should have one. So now that we have the user's IP address in here, it's going to return it, as you can see, as a JSON format. Just like we did here that we converted this JSON format into a dictionary, we want to do exactly the same. So right here, we're going to say IP underscore data should just be equals to json.loads and what we want to load is ip.txt so now that we have this ip data in here that's very good what we just need to do let me show you guys okay i would like to show you guys what is going to be passed like how the ip is gonna um, pass into a dictionary but for security purposes i don't want to show my ip address but just to tell you guys it's going to pass in your IP address as a dictionary. So just follow me. Let's just cancel this IP address which we see here. And let's concatenate it with this. Let me say plus. I'm going to say IP data now. And then I can use it in a dictionary format. Something like this. And I can say IP. So now I think this should do all the work. Now let's check it out. Let's save. And in here in index.html i'm just going to remove some data because it's my personal data that is going to come up now so data.query which is the ip address i'm going to remove it so just because of security i can leave my country my city but these i think they need to be commented out the latitude and longitude and um the zip should be commented out so i think the rest is fine now once i come here and it's refresh as i told you earlier in the last video um i live in uk so you see now it says country united kingdom city rugby the country code gb time zone europe or london so you can also do more like count less with this um, i'm just showing you this on just the basic way of implementing this in your django project you can get the currency you can get the address in which the user is particularly but for this video, I don't think we need that for anything. And you can get like um, distance between two different locations if you want to go further. There are lots of things we can do with APIs. So just this was just an introduction to geolocation with Django. So let's come back to our code and review everything which we did. So we started with the project. We created our project. And then in our settings.py, we just... Um, set our template files and then after that we mapped our urls right here and then we also mapped it in our project folder and then after that in our views.py 
we basically got all the data we needed and then once we got them we passed them into our index.html and then we just show it in for to the user so we show it in our template file to the user now i really hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to smash the like button and please subscribe i really appreciate that and if you have any question if you're stuck somewhere just drop it down in the comments or you can message me on twitter at um, tomitoko3 i'll be sure to answer all questions having that said thank you so much for watching and bye for now